Hey, what's going on? You know, it's your boy Earl. We're back here. It's a Rapping It Park 2015. We're here in the Album Memorial Kensington Gardens. Everybody make some noise. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You know, the score. Follow me on Instagram, at, uh, at Twitter, and at Twitter. We're going to get into one of the Don't Flop main channel battles of the day. MC on my right hand side. You've seen him before. Make some noise for Ambi. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yo, and on my left hand side, smashed his last battle and damn, check that on the pay per view if you ain't already. We got JB, make some noise. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, yo, we got five judges and all that good shit. They want to be judged. We got three rounds. First uh, round on my man, Ambi. Let's go. Go on, Ambi. Listen, for legal reasons, I have to inform you this ain't a child versus a pregnant lady or wee man versus Preston Lacey. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Jack off the dog. Damn right. This ain't sloth from the Goonies and opposite to me from that comedy movie is Officer Doofy. <laughs> nah. For the next 10 minutes, I'm here to show you Ambi 2.0 and that's my evil twin that resides in Salem's lot where them demons live if you've been reading scripts by Stephen King. Mm. Let me tell you why he's the weakest What's link. Like? He's the champ and king of the Ronalds. I mean, Jesus kids, where do you people really think his fucking allegiance is? So you being part of that circuit ain't really serving its purpose. You're just another clown in their circus and they treat you as surplus. I get it, you're trying to build your stock, but it just does you disservice because we can all fucking see that that league is just worthless. So if you want to be where them bitches scream for exhibition teams, fuck off back to that different league. But nah, you show up to don't flop. Acting like you're brightening up this league once a year like Christmas trees or blowing up like the twisted dreams in the Middle East. Nah, you're missing beats and your hits deplete due to the shit you speak in your written schemes. You're playing two characters, switching between the team, teams, still trying to define which him we see like Themistocles. And that is the thing. In this battling ring we're here to expose each other's weaknesses and that is factually his. See how's he gonna go back to Mickey, how's he gonna go back to his ends and tell Mickey and all of his friends that he went mad on a whim and he was savage in limbs and my head it fucking hangs from a string and he was crowned as a king when they won't even understand if it's him or a fucking standing for him because he's too damn afraid to be a man in this ring. So look. When they asked me who I wanted to battle next, I said it don't really matter because from this point forward, I'm only taking corpses to let them all pick. They said, what about JB? Truthfully, you weren't in my top five, mate, but you were on my shortlist. <laughs> I mean, look at him. This man is so tall, I was going to get in his face a lot more, but I was worried his head would keep tapping my balls and I ain't on that at all. I ain't on that at all. Look, I heard you had a good battle in Dam. So I only took this battle because I heard you were a growing problem. Slow it down! <laughs> I said you look like an Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> Round one, it's close. Yo, you said I was champion of that other shit a league. I was never in doubt. But why do a roundabout King of the Rocks? They're just gonna edit it out. Apart from that, I couldn't think of an intro. So let's start. Those tattoos don't cover your stretch marks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, for this battle I was scavenging lines because you wanted two minute time limits. So I'm having to write a lot of bars and my God, there aren't enough angles to try. Why do you want six minutes of material? You haven't been rapping for five. <laughs> I regret agreeing those limits when we set the battle. Because it's hard to be creative when a sphere looks the same from every angle. <laughs> but, then, but then you tried to censor me. That is not how this works, mate. Do you want to stop people talking shit? Don't battle in the first place, he said, don't talk about our family. Or online shit we both knew, and I was alright with that. Because this and your family has no use, but let me flip that back. Why wouldn't personals be a go-to? Because I can trust you, Ambi. About as far as I could throw you. <laughs> what? You think I didn't see what happened? I'm not Stevie Wonder. You've been asking our mutual friends for personals on me. You cheeky fucker. <laughs> so I know I said I wouldn't talk about your stupid fucking son. If you'd done nothing, I wouldn't. But I knew it would fuck you up. So you think he's smart, special, that you were lucky one? Let's be honest, Stu. He's just going to grow up to be another cunt. Yeah, fuck your kid. Make more of them. <laughs> fuck your kid. Make more of them. Already had five. He ate four of them. <laughs> You know that charity shit? Stuart on his high horse thinking he gave hope to those less fortunate but everything he reaps stays so and that kickstarter started on a steep grade though so the answer a resounding we say no to cheap made clothes. Mm. He did nothing to help. Still patted yourself on the back for it. Probably bought a homeless guy a coffee once. Called yourself a philanthropist. <laughs> <laughs> you little sack of shit, let me bring that back a sec. I already told you those tattoos don't have an effect. Now as I stand in the flesh, I have to suggest that neck beard is not a substitute for actually having a neck. <laughs> How are you going to tell everyone you're better? 
I've had two battles and so far only one has been released. You've had 23 and you're the fucking champion of a league yet you're stood here in a park and you're battling with me. <laughs> yes. Clearly you've landed on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I heard this guy was a melt. I knew fuck all about him, so I had to go online and research him myself. And I found out you, <laughs> on Facebook, you like a group called Touching Lies for Jesus. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seriously, this one gave me sleepless nights. What the fuck is wrong with these people, guys? <laughs> Look, a four foot three creature with creepy eyes touching people's lives isn't why Jesus died. <laughs> <laughs> Look, imagine Jesus and God discussing plans on our fate and what they rate as important. God would be like, fuck all these sinning cunts. Let's use an apocalypse. It'd be like Mother Nature's abortion. Jesus would be like, God, no, Dad, Dad. Dad, I know it'll be really awesome. Replace the horsemen and let JB sort them. <laughs> and in a battle, you refer to yourself as a battling titan. Battling titan. Imagine JB chilling out in Greece with the Olympians and the entire pack of the titans, right? <laughs> You'd have Hyperion, Cronus, Pallas, Poseidon. Mm. Zeus stood in the corner just channeling the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, War of the Gods would break out. Everyone be panicked and frightened. Not JB though, he'd rip off his shirt, he'd be fucking anxious to fight him with his intricate wordplay and his magical writing. <laughs> <laughs> and in another battle, you said at 16, you killed six teams and took off their top like a strip tease. I'm confused. Did you kill him or did you get him naked, mate? Because <laughs> either you're a killer or there's been a blatant rape that's taken place. <laughs> Like, I didn't even mean to sound facetious, but your 16s are like the Sistine. You're massively reaching just to paint them pictures. Mm. Yes. And I know your preferences, obscure references, but they're just too distant, so they go over all of our heads. But with that height, you should have known those quotes were always a stretch. <laughs> but real talk, you're like Frankie Fraser, a frequent thought. You've got one of the better writing styles that could genuinely beat this sport, but when it comes to performance, you don't hear applause. That's because your persona's unlikable and you're a fucking awkward guy. <laughs> like that one that performed Jesus Walks, just on a much smaller size. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Crafty beat you. Ain't an alphabet battler. Took some letters out your name. So let me add some for character. Because you do nothing else. This act for the camera only time I see and be in iambic pentameter. Mm. Mm. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Even I'm a little mad at me. <laughs> but Crafty did that and won. So it's a winning strategy. You, you're out for two minutes and spent most of your time talking about mythical warships, how your strippers and dolphins, your lyrics will dwarf him, how his vision's distorted, how he's militant, literally picking your organs, picking up a pyramid, sticking to your ribs. At some point, you said you had a lyrical fortress. You are quite unanimous with bigger proportions. I'm not saying you're bad. You just remind me a bit of Illus. You're battling a self-righteous poet with preachy songs. Why were you spitting filler? And I already, I already dusted that crop. This is just raking leaves. First hit you walking with Jesus. Spaceman three, throwing haymakers with both hands. Make believe, and we deck strokes. No, he's just fake and sweet. Mm. Snuck in here through agency. KGB, weight of tea. Sitcom friends brought you to the main stage like Rachel Green got. No. Gave Crafty had sounding boards like Fraser T and Jamie Blees. Should have had the kid <laughs> rock when you walked in like Undertaker's theme, but you lost. Mm. Started crying for no reason. KEB, mm. saying you wouldn't have won the battle without Harry Baker's scheme. Probably wouldn't. But he did. That's a fact. So please, for fuck's sake, stop crying over battle rap. Look, Stuart, it's not that I don't like you, but your BMI is higher than your IQ. <laughs> <laughs> when you step on one foot in the grave if you're trying to beat me, other foot's already there. That was diabetes. Time. <laughs> Lee, you've only seen one half to Ambi, but there's another side to me. I tried to keep him locked up in the past like a time machine because at the slightest beef, I can turn back to that minus freak that his violent screams like that ISIS leak on that vibrant beach. Mm. I storm in, create hell, then I quietly leave, holding up two fingers like I'm signing peace, smiling, mm. please. I gave you a choice to make. You can either fight by my side or step into this firing line, and you chose to die. And you think because I'm always stood by the champion side, or because there's sarcasm and jokes that I would gladly provide, that I'm placid and nice? Nah. Fuck that. You should have known that I was an elephant sized friend in disguise hiding in plain sight behind these enemy lines. So now I've arrived, pussy you can step up and try cause this predator type will tear your neck from your spine and hold up your motherfucking head to the sky. Mm. Nah, fuck that. This predator type will tear your neck from your sky, from your spine, skull fuck each one of your eyes until my testicles shine. <laughs> so let's go man, 
In like you're throwing hendo hands, we're more likely to see you and your missus up at Legoland. Which is <laughs> <laughs> kind of ironic, because with that hair and at that height, you do look like a Lego man. Yeah. <laughs> Just without the yellow tan. <laughs> fucking worm, man. Look, how are you coming here thinking you're harming me? You must be having a fucking laugh with me. Pop off, I'll pop off your little Lego arms and feet. <laughs> what is wrong with your eyes? It must be hard to see. You look like you've been on the party scene with Charlie Sheen. You look half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Must be all that stuff that you smoke. Not only is it fucked with your eyes, it's stunted your growth. Yes. But real talk, JB, representing another team that openly takes its own shots that don't flop and the rest of this league, you better believe it's been getting to me. Because outside of battling, we're cool. But coming over here acting like nothing's changed just out she was a fucking snake. And smiling and acting all cool won't stop that judgement day because I'm over here, it's don't flop all fucking day! Get me! Let's go. Yo, you were just another cunt on my hit list. Saying I come different leagues than Snake, that is someone else's business. I don't care. But I figured, and you didn't, call me a, call me a creative Ryan Wanker. Yes, it's true. Uh, so it's paid a lot of money to get called one. Something I thought he didn't, but I would bet he used. But anyway, let's go fast. You know those phone calls when you're running late and really don't have the time? Call calls selling bullshit, trying to say you have to buy whatever tap they might be selling at the time, and you think, what cunt does this? Yep, that's the guy. I don't care if you do your job really well. You done telemarketing for 12 years. Still haven't killed yourself. <laughs> 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 I looked in your recommendations, got even more absurd. Uh, one of your clients said you bend over backwards for them. That's an unfortunate choice of words. <laughs> but I want to talk about your rap career and why you haven't got one. Ask how you got a tryout and why did you want one. Truth is Adam started rapping and got a new best friend so figured you best step before you get left. Poor Stu then went to get a tryout, finds out we can use their rep to make sure even though you lost, they book you again. Because you don't even like rapping. You wouldn't know where to start though. Stu's favourite rappers, Will Adam Marlowe. <laughs> Still, it must be soul crushing, right? Seeing Shuffle give Marlo those lovesick eyes. But all, you, all you have is Maltese and sarcasm. No bars or talent, so what do you have that Marlo hasn't? He's gonna break your heart, Stewie. Don't get attached to it. Just the guy Shuffle shows his bars to while Marlo's on a gap year. <laughs> <laughs> you called yourself a promising trial. My, how the world's changed. Top three this year. That's not quite how it works, mate. Get your head out your ass. Stop believing what Viewpoint and the nerds say, because if you had to make it on your own, you wouldn't be stood here in the first place. You do nothing to deserve it. You're afraid to even step foot in a studio. You're proof in any walk of life. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Time. Let's go. Is so everyone just going to be silent for this, bro? Hello, Cracker. Um, Ambi versus JB. I had it even up until the third round before um, they both had I thought their other rounds were better than their third round but in the end I gave it to Ambi so I gave JB the first two and then Ambi the third so 2-1 JB JB <laughs> but I think Ambi got the last round 2-1 then yeah 2-1 uh, good battle and uh, my goal with JB Yo, we're All back here wrapping it part of 2015. We had my man JB going up against Ambi. It was a 3 2 split. It went to JB in the end. Make some noise. Mate, I'll make you and your crew lean back like you were jamming with Fat Joe while I'm yamming at Nando's with them piri piri chips and that garlic bread side dish. <laughs> Mate, that sauce, you know, the lime with the mango. Yo, bro. <laughs>